Hello there nieces and nephews, this is Travels by Auntie Jenny and today we are here in Palm Springs, California fixing to ride the Palm Springs Tramway. So if you have the time and you're still interested, continue watching this video. It is recommended to purchase your tickets online, including your parking pass. And because you're parking on a mountain, depending on what time of day, they do offer shuttles to and from the parking lots. And because we purchased our tickets ahead of time on their website, we were able to bypass the long line for people who were walking in. All right, it's finally time to ride the tramway up Mount San Jacinto. Everybody come in, uh, please remove your backpacks or bouldering pads, put them by your feet. Ten minutes, I'm sorry, ten minute trip to the mountain and a beautiful day up there. It's about 57 degrees at the top right now. And the tram cars here have a rotating floor, so you don't stay looking the same direction. Floor rotates you a couple times around. Window handrails do not move with the floor. So once the floor starts rotating you to the left, move your arms along. There are handrails built in the floor. You can hold on to those for the whole 10 minute trip. They move with you. All right, let's try the floor rotation in three, two, one, around you go. Woo! So you'll get a view that way. Get some fresh air coming in here in just a moment. Some views. Going up top the canyon, 8,516 feet. The ridge line up there, two and a half miles of cable. We rise 6,000 feet in about 11 minutes, 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, holding up the cables are towers, five towers. We go over the towers, they're gonna be a sway back and uh, forth. So if you need to move your arms along, if you need to hold on, hold the step right here, sir. If you hold on here, you don't have to move your arms. Just turn around so you can look. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we go over the towers, watch your balance, there's a sway, that's the fun part. All right, beautiful day, we're gonna get up to the cool air. It's already cooling off. Enjoy the ride, everybody. <laughs> Here comes the first tower, so there's a sway. Here we go, rock and roll. And in some 11 minutes, step out of the way. The highway is the state park. At an elevation, 8,516 miles. It travels over two and one and a half miles of the At the top, the temperature averages some 40 degrees cooler. Change, and the trees, flowers, and roads. We'll travel over five hours. During our upper journey, we pass through a variety of different places, ranging from the Sonora Desert to the Alpine Trend. It's a little like As we approach tower number two, top of the tower, you can see a six hole by six hole used during construction and now used during the tram's maintenance period. Additional platforms will be seen on the remaining towers further along our journey. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. As you know, the very first time experienced a swinging motion. One of the early, at least early transitions. The largest of these are the track cables on which we ride. They weigh just under nine pounds a foot. With each of these track cables, thirteen thousand five hundred feet in length. Therefore, the weight of the ball and the sand bar fell in love with mine too. But same thing, it's like yours is not that great. But it's like we were here. She said so far it's more. Maybe some 
Wasn't that cool? The views of the mountain were spectacular. All right, everybody, we're now finally up on Mount Jacinto here at Palm Springs Aerial Tramway. Um, we are at the viewing deck. It did take about 11 minutes to get up here from the tramway, but uh, down below at desert land, it's a, it was around maybe 97 degrees. Up here is reported to be 57, so there's like a big temperature difference. But look at the aerial view here. So this is the viewing deck on the second floor. You can tell the difference here. So again, we started down in Palm Springs, desert weather, and it's 57 degrees here up on the mountain. And you can see there's snow on the mountain tops. It's a really beautiful view. And they have this here of all the animals that they call Mount Jacinto home. Just keep in mind, um, we are at a high elevation. Um, so if you have asthma or you've hard of breathing, take your asthma pump or just be mindful that um, your breathing will be a little bit harder to breathe up here. Um, I do have hard, harder breathing. So um, just take your time. You have all the way from 10 o'clock, actually nine o'clock to 9.30 at night to stay up here. But um, just be mindful. If you're asthmatic, um, bring your asthma pump. <laughs> we are now on the ground floor where they offer some lockers to store your personal belongings, a little movie theater, and even a museum. Check it out. And if you do decide to do some hiking up here, they have a little movie that you can watch that gives you tips on what to expect and what to do. Here's a little clip that I recorded for you. Sunscreen and sunglasses. You're going to need extra clothing, shell garments, rain clothes, extra food, and extra water. In case of emergency, you should always carry a first aid kit, a knife. Matches in a waterproof container or a good lighter. And after you get that fire going, they're going to need something that will sustain a flame. Either fire tablets or even a candle would work. To find your way, you're going to want to carry a good map. Not just the map, but the ability to read it. And a compass. You need a flashlight with extra bulb and batteries. There's one final item that's not part of the original plan, but we strongly suggest it. And that is a whistle. A whistle can be heard from a quarter mile to a mile away. And if you become lost, this is your quickest way to get attention brought to your situation. These items together are called the 10 essential. Don't leave the trailhead without them. Mount San Jacinto. There's also a trail that you can take up here. I myself didn't do it, but my two friends did. Check out their little video of how it looks at the bottom of the trail.
As I was waiting for the rest of my party, I decided to have a little snack on the second viewing deck. The elevation so high up here. Check out my bag of chips. A lot of air in here. I also made my way up to the third floor viewing deck. Hmm. So this is Palm Springs Aerial Tramway dedicated to Governor Edmund G. Brown. Hmm. The third floor viewing deck actually gives you the view of Palm Springs down below. And located on the second floor is a gift shop. And if you're like me, a magnet is a must. It's finally time to eat. And up here at the mountain station, there's two restaurants. One is Pines Cafe, which is almost like a cafeteria style. Otherwise, if you don't want that, they do have a restaurant called The Peaks. With the Peaks restaurant, I highly recommend that you make reservations online under the Open Table app. Well, normally I pull heavy, I better pour light. <laughs> <laughs> Just take my boss sees it on the video, right? <laughs> yeah, I got you. We're going to call this uh, today the Mountain Gun. How's that? We change it depending on the weekend. <laughs> I didn't think I'd get away with it. But I thought it was kind of cute. Because we were all trying to think of a, something to show it, something to name it that day. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever done yoga? Uh, yeah. And here's the final total of how much it costs to eat up in the mountains. After a few hours of being up here, we're finally heading back down. 
If you do decide to come to the Palm Springs Aerial Tramway, I highly recommend that you at least spend two to four hours here to experience everything that Mount San Jacinto has to offer. I actually feel like the tramway is going a little bit more faster going downhill. What do you think? Check it out, I didn't realize that there was a restaurant and a waterfall here at the Valley Station. This little section here is the Cascades Cafe. So we're finally done at the Palm Springs Aerial Tram here in Palm Springs, California. Um, it's hot now. Uh, we were back down on floor ground and it's about 97 degrees right now. So, um, but up there it was about 57 degrees. It started getting cold, but um, we're now back down to desert weather. Um, I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. And um, thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, thank you for watching Travels by Auntie Jenny.